So what we're gonna do here is use our template applicator file. Once again, I have our uh, Z06 LT4 injectors that we can simply plug the data right into our file, making this really easy because there's a lot of tables, a lot of things that need to be changed over. Let's go ahead and do that and bring our data in here for under our flow rate and offsets and the pulse corrections and everything in our information in here. So we're gonna go into edit once again, go to template applicator, and we're gonna go to file open, open tune template, and we're gonna grab our LT4 injectors and we're gonna bring that in. So what it looks like here, we're unable to open the file, unsupported or newer version detected. Please update your software. So this is actually a little bit interesting. What we might need to do is use a, a beta version of the software to bring our injector data in here because the software I'm working with here is pre-version 5.0. I specifically am using this software because I'm having issues editing things like torque tables with a 5.0 and newer software. You might be into that same kind of situation as you're um, starting to work with your vehicle here. So let's go ahead and actually do this right here. Let's stop where we're at so we know where our position's at in the file here. So we're on the fuel and we're on the general tab. I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna go to save and just save the file here. Again, as base cal, so we're saving all the changes. Let's go ahead and close our software. We're opening up then the file in the beta version, and then we're gonna try our template applicator, bringing that data in here and see what's gonna happen here. So let's go in and uh, let's close out our VCM editor here. And I'm gonna type in VCM editor. Now I have installed the beta version, which you would need to grab from their website. And we'll type in here beta, parentheses beta. We can see it's gonna be opening up here. Now this is using version 5.0 something or other. It's a newer version of the software. Again, I avoid using this on some of the files as I'm editing them, but things like our tour table, it's locking me out from editing them or turning off certain features and functions. It disables me from doing that. So a little bit annoying here. Let's go ahead and try to open up the same file in the beta version and see what's going to happen. Let's give this a second here. So we're gonna be looking for our base cal file and let's try that again. So we were in engine and then give this a second here and then we were here under fuel, and then we were here under our general, under our injectors. So let's go to edit, let's go here into template applicator, and let's go ahead and try this now. So open tune template, and let's go in here into fuel injectors and see if that's gonna allow me to do this. So we see all of that information here, we're gonna transfer it. And there was one issue here, uh, the EOI low pressure error, parameter net found in current tune, so the table wasn't there. Um, can't do anything about that. If the table isn't populated from HB tuners, um, we should be all right without that table populated. So we just look here. Yeah, it would most likely be down here under injection timing. So an EOI low pressure table that wasn't populated. So we'll have to run without it and see what's gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do right now, um, we'll keep our beta version of the software open, but I'm gonna revert back to the non-beta whenever we probably flash the file we can edit it between beta and non-beta and actually make that work i don't usually bounce back and forth but in this case obviously it was giving me an error here with that, that template file because i created the template applicator files in the beta version of the software and i did that specifically so they were um, able to be compatible with the newer versions and a little bit confusing here but we have to kind of run with this now the stoich here our stoich afr needs to be updated and what I'm gonna do here, because we have a flex fuel sensor installed onto the vehicle, we wanna go and make sure that this is gonna be able to track what the ethanol content's going to be. Now, I have just pump gas in the vehicle now, petrol fuel, it's a 10% blended ethanol petrol fuel. Um, we wanna go in and make sure we're updating this so that when we're tuning it, if we have a flex sensor and installed, it'll actually track what the ethanol content again is going to be. So it looks up the correct storage here, which is gonna influence our fueling calculation. This is actually what corrects and fixes our fuel modeling and making sure that we're accounting for what fuel type we're, we're running in here, what blend we're running. So if we go here to our edit, and we can go to our template applicator here again. Oops, let's try this again here. Clicked on the wrong thing, template applicator. We can go in and again into our folder, we have this option here, uh, flex fuel enable. So if we click here, flex fuel enable, it'll turn it on and make this work. And uh, we will be doing flex based tuning on here later in this, this training tutorials here for our live training session. But if we look here, now that we've applied that, we're gonna find that this table here should have been updated and changed. If we close that out and open it up again here, we're noticing now it's changing the alcohol composition to the actual stoich that's associated to that specific ethanol blend. This is what's correcting our, again, our fueling for the, the specific ethanol blend that we have in our fuel system. So we got that out of the way while we're in this window, while we're in this beta version of the software. 
Uh, let's keep moving on here. I'm not going to touch anything under cranking. We shouldn't need to. This should just fire right off and run normally with uh, the factory cranking EQ ratio tables here. We'll have to see how that goes. Again, change as least amount as possible along the way here. Under oxygen sensors, the only thing I'm going to do in here is turn off the long-term fuel trims. So I'm going to set my minimum here to something like 300 degrees, my map versus barrow here to something like 100, let's say 120 kPa. And everything else here I'm going to leave alone. Um, we may have to tweak our proportional integral here because we have long tube headers on. We'll have to see how that goes. We might have to tweak our... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.